Quarantine measures made to the untrained eye seem a little bit extreme and it's actually quite a full-on procedure that you have to go through when you're heading out to protected environments like Maud Island and the Marlborough Sounds, which is where I'm heading. What do we have to do? I'm going to Maud Island and I've got a bunch of stuff. What do we have to do with it? You need a permit to go there. I mean, it's a closed island because um, we have all sorts of special animals that live out there. So I've got to go make sure that all your gear before you go out there is clean and that you don't have any mice or um, insects like spiders or ants or even um, we're concerned about dirt on shoes and things like that with carrying a fungus so that kills the native frogs that live out there. Well, I guess that seemed like an awful lot of work, and yeah, well, it is. But by taking precautions like this, it means we get to look after our own backyard, which in the long run is better off for all of our locals. So I've been checked out, I've finally got the green light. I'm off to Maud, I'll see you there. Well, I'm here on Maud Island, but we still have to go through another quarantine procedure. Why is that, Richard? Just to make doubly sure we're not getting anything right from the island that we don't want here. Richard and Mahina and Liam have found some examples of the wildlife on Maud Island for me to have a look at. What have I got here, Richard? This is a Cook Strait giant red hair. A lot of the wildlife at Maud Island only comes out at night, like the red hair, the geckos, the frogs. And this bit at the back here that Liam's pointing at isn't a sting. That's what she lays her eggs with. So the eggs come down this big sticky out bit, which is called an ovipositor, and she lays her eggs. She is beautiful. So what have we got in here, guys? A penguin. Penguin. These are blue penguins and they are the smallest penguins in the world and if any of you have penguins living under your house you'll know all about it because they make a big racket when they meet up at night time when they've come in from fishing. Should we let them go back to sleep guys? Say night night. Night night. Who does it come from? A takahe. A takahe. Mm. They're a bit bigger than a chicken egg aren't they? Will I? Great. Oh, he's eight for coming. Well, it was definitely a bit of a mission getting out here to Maud Island in the Marlborough Sounds to meet these locals, but it was well worth it. And uh, we're actually going to let some of the other locals go now, aren't we, guys? Should we let them out? Yeah. Can you help me open this one? I'll help you open that one. There we go. Okay, let's let them go. 